Okay, hey everyone, welcome to another episode of On The Wrist from Off The Cuff. Today we have another great strap review for you um, from a brand new upstart called Spring Made. Now they're a US based brand and basically they really focus on three things, quality, innovation and function and I think they really hit the nail on the head with this initial offering. Um, essentially you know these nano straps are adjustable and it really gives you the ability to get an exact fit on your strap versus kind of having to decide between one hole or the next hole and honestly a lot of the times for comfort reasons and security reasons depending on if your wrist is swelling from the heat or not or whatever um, you know, you don't necessarily have that perfect spot. You kind of just settle with what's available. That's not the case with this particular brand because it doesn't use holes. The, the design setup is really cool, as you can see, very different as far as the buckle goes. And it's actually a nice, well-machined, well-finished piece of steel, which really suits, um, you know, a nice quality mechanical wristwatch. Now, the two watches here, as you can see in frame, um, I'm definitely going to be using because this uh, company really started out as, you know, specializing in Seikos. And so I figured uh, why not show these two particular straps on Seikos and uh, really get an idea of how they look, how they feel, and really what they bring to the table that is different. So um, they actually started out in the 22 millimeter uh, with and now these are actually 20 millimeter releases so I've been really looking forward to that not only because from a Seiko standpoint but they can fit a lot of my other watches so I'm sure if you're a fan of the channel and you do follow me on Instagram you're gonna see these straps showing up more and more because the fit is just absolutely fantastic and I'm a real real fan of the execution the design um, and it's nice because you can just have a way to make it fit the right way every single time and you know, and the, these aren't some crazy expensive new innovative strap, right? I mean, they are innovative and new, but they're not upselling you on anything. They understand these are nylon straps, right? And, um, you know, they're not trying to sell them to you for some crazy premium price, but they are giving you premium design, which I am a big fan of. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the black model. As you can see here, Pretty straightforward construction. Um, it just has the two keepers and then this really nicely finished uh, buckle there. There's no holes at all and it's just very smooth. You guys might remember if you watched my review of the Beluga Ascent 60 minute timer. I actually did feature it on this strap, so a little Easter egg for um, the subscribers of the channel. But um, I'm a really big fan of this strap. It's just super nice. As you can see, really well finished. And this is just kind of their generation, you know, first release. I mean, so it's only going to get better. You know, as you know, there's everyone's going to put in their two cents and, you know, the, the, uh, the, this will definitely, I'm sure, evolve into other ways and, you know, um, they'll keep taking it up more and more notches, just kind of like every other producer out there. But what they're producing right now in kind of their, you know, most basic form is a real, real gem of a wear. So let's go ahead and get it uh, run through here so you can see on my baby turtle. You kind of can decide exactly where you want it to lay because depending on where you want the uh, the buckle there to go, I actually try to keep it more even. I think you know more people, most people will see that kind of and think, well, that's probably how I should lay. I like to scoot it down a bit and actually make it a little bit more even because it means that it's going to wear a little bit um, more wrapped around on the wrist so I do like that although it might look a little weird when it's laid out here like this um, because of the way that the strap wears it, it's really nice and as you can see it single layer pass through so BAM look at that it's not adding any height whatsoever I mean that's super thin um, so that's gonna sit on your wrist super nicely and of course this is a Seiko so it's already been designed and engineered to sit on your wrist really nice so before we get that on wrist let's go ahead and take a look at the gray model also um, 
the nice thing is that these are actually available on Amazon so you're not going to have to go through some crazy waiting game or get on a list or order from some far off place and worry about duty fees or VAT or anything like that. You can actually purchase these right here uh, in the US on Amazon right now. So that's really killer and um, well, really unexpected from uh, kind of a brand new brand to show up. So really, really nice. So I do, I do like the gray here for my little field watch, as you can see, 20 millimeter lug width, and then I probably wear, probably pull it down a little bit, so it's a little bit more even keeled on there. So, really, really cool. As you can see, they really suit the dive aesthetic here, and then the more field aesthetic. They definitely just look like they mean business. You know, it just they're very toolish and and purposeful it's not about you know uh, trying to give off some type of luxury or premium aesthetic it's more so premium engineering and premium design and something that has kind of existed for a long time um, and then they're reworking it which I just think is absolutely outstanding and that's one of the things that I really enjoy about upstart brands is they really bring to the table something different you know they don't have to play it safe um, really they have nothing to lose and everything to gain when they come up with new and creative um, takes on things so I think that's really cool so of course they are available in 20 millimeter and 22 millimeter um, they're available in black and gray and also navy blue uh, really it's just there's a lot to love here so let's go ahead and get these on wrist okay as you can see we're super nice on the wrist and then you have that great hardware really balancing everything out nice and sleek single pass through really taking advantage of these drilled lugs there by being able to swap out straps really easily you just leave those shoulderless spring bars in there and then you can just slide a nice nylon strap through no fuss at all and the nice thing is it's a little bit hot so my wrists are a bit swollen but you know what i actually can easily dial it in and get the sizing perfect here we go on this side I really like this gray tone. It's nice and bright and a little bit warmer than, you know, it has a bit of a tint tint to it almost. Not quite of a brownish tint, uh, tint, but as you can see kind of against this backdrop which is kind of a grayish uh, khaki color that it does have a nice kind of earthy tone to it. So it's not something that's going to be, you know, as limiting as some of the more true grays uh, straps. So this will go good with a pair of jeans um, or, you know, a pair of khakis or whatever. And I think it does give it a nice military kind of field aesthetic. And then, of course, you do have the really great hardware. So, I mean, this hardware looks so good. I almost think you could probably wear one of these as a bracelet, you know, uh, buckle up on the on the wrist almost uh to just kind of get a cool idea here of how these wear and kind of what they are what they do what they offer so really a big fan really digging it fits super good so now some closing thoughts for these um, you know, I really enjoy the way that they wear. Uh, of course, that's one of the things that they really focused on was the functionality, and I think they really nailed it on this on these two. And I mean, of course, so far all of their designs are really nice. But I mean, there's a couple of things also that are kind of exciting fun facts. You know, how about like the fact that these nylon straps are tested to a critical failure at just under a thousand pounds, so at 977 pounds. Um, you know that they can hold that weight before they fail so that's pretty cool and you know basically they can maintain that position with over 250 pounds pounds of force so it, you can really trust that these will stay on um, I think that's really cool that they went through that and you know did more testing want to test the durability so at the end of the day if you need to use one of these straps as an EDC tool or something and you know you um, I don't know you need to put a splint on your arm or something like that you know that these straps can also hold that together so I just think that that's really cool and of course I'm digging the way they look on wrist right now I think really nice suits the turtle 
Um, of course, the blacked out look. And then we have the gray. I think they'd be interchangeable as well. I think this field watch would look great with the black strap. Um, and the turtle would look really cool with the gray as well. So, you know, it's a really awesome design. And the nice thing is that it's really backed by super solid engineering. So it's not just uh, an aesthetic pleaser. It's actually very functional and uh, very impressive. So, I mean, f as far as an initial offering from a small startup brand, I mean, it's, it's tough to imagine somebody doing any better than this. And they're also super available on Amazon. So I just think that that's killer and they're definitely making the right moves. I really look forward to seeing what Spring Made do next. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked the video, please do hit like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks guys.